what APSPA is and why is it absolutely necessary in Manipur. The full form of APSPA is Armed Forces Special Powers Act and this law is imposed in areas which are considered highly disturbed areas. Currently, Manipur can't be considered as highly disturbed area but rather as a war-torn state. The civil war situation in Manipur can be only controlled by measures such as enforcement of APSPA. Well, how? We will learn that in today's video. So do keep watching and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more contents like this. As I mentioned before, the full form of APSPA is Armed Forces Special Powers Act. By the name, you can easily figure out that this law gives some special powers or authorities to the Armed Forces and Central Armed Police Forces of India. And this law is imposed in areas which are considered highly disturbed. Well, disturbed areas are those places where you can find high number of riots or insurgency. And these are usually border states. You know a lot of people cross border illegally with the intention of carrying out anti-state activities and many other forms of armed rebellion. That is why you will find APSPA in places like Kashmir and to the seven states of the Northeast. Now, what are those special powers and privileges that the armed forces get under this law? Under this law, the armed forces or the central armed police forces have the right to conduct operations which include searching of local people's premises or vehicles as well as arresting them without a warrant. If at all anyone is found to be acting against the law and harming innocent civilians, the armed forces also have the right to open fire at anyone who is acting against law and order. This law also prohibits a gathering of five or more people. In other words, this law protects the armed forces against any form of legal prosecution. It gives them legal immunity to bring back order in areas that are designated as disturbed areas. But there is one problem in this country itself. It's unable to enforce laws which are actually necessary for the betterment of its people. Just like the government took back the farm laws which were later declared actually profitable for the farmers by the Supreme Court of India. Just like the government is also absolutely silent on implementation of NRC and the CIA, just like that it also took away APSPA from various disturbed areas. And the Manipur became no exception. And now we can see the consequences. Manipur is in a situation where administration units have split along ethnic lines. Anyway, everyone is aware of this shameful incident. One of the points the husband of the survivor made was that the police was there when this horrible incident was taking place, but the police was both outnumbered and was not able to stop this from happening. Reason, absence of APSPA. Well, how? See what happens is, while there are various parties armed with guns trying to kill each other, along the way they also kill innocents or shall I say unarmed individuals. And when the army tries to catch or at some circumstances, they have to fire at the terrorists. Often, misinformed civilians come out and block soldiers from carrying out operations. And by chance, if any civilian is killed, then FIR can be registered on the army who did his duty only. Even family members of the armed militant who would be killed in the crossfire would be also able to search FIR against the army. So ultimately, if the army is not able to move out, as a consequence, people are going to lose their lives. The locals are going to lose their lives. Now in the absence of APSPA, can't there be anything else done? There is one way, but that is the unfortunate part of the CRPC Act, that the army, if it is called out, in net to civil authority, each column of the army has to be accompanied by a magistrate. Only then, without the implementation of APSPA, the army has the authority to move out and operate on their own. To put it simply, it's like in Delhi, areas which are not under APSPA, the army cannot on its own move out in Delhi and control rights. It has to be called and if it has to be called then a magistrate has to be there. Only then army could be saved from being falsely taken into custody or jail. Now are the magistrates accompanying the army? This is another issue not many are talking about. They are not at all doing their duty. The magistrates also possesses ethnic, political or tribal loyalty 
which stops them from performing their responsibility. Very few magistrates come out, who are to be true, not at all sufficient, as about 150 operations are taking place in a single day, and since each column out of these 150 columns are to be accompanied by a magistrate, in simple words, there aren't even enough magistrates either. As far as the state police is concerned, it's not the state police of just Manipur. The state police of all the northeastern states are largely ineffective. The reason is that there is so much tribal loyalty that they simply cannot move in that society. They simply cannot take any action against the tribe they belong to. No matter where the army is functioning, whether in South Assam, Nagaland, Manipur, Arunachal, or Mizoram, in the early days, the kind of help that they get from the state police was very less, almost zero cooperation. Currently, in case of Manipur, videos have surfaced on the internet of Manipur police and Assam rifles having some hard time together. There are many other things, these are not all. But to keep the video short, all I have to say is that AFSPA can be a game changer in controlling the riots in Manipur by enabling the armed forces to operate freely on their own. And in the absence of AFSPA, the central government and the top jurisdiction must act on how to get more magistrates. In case if magistrates are afraid of repercussions from the armed militants, the central government must ensure them and their family better security. And the police, they must have some major reforms. So let's talk about them in a separate video. Jai Hind!